Okay, we're here with Sinesa Super Baddest Shot of the WBC Flyweight, Light Flyweight, Light Flyweight, light flyweight <laughs> Champion. Um, set to take the stage in June 13th. June 13th. Um, with no opponent yet. So, talk to yeah. us about this training camp and preparing in general without an opponent. How, how do you approach a yeah. fight like that? Um, I mean, I'm used to preparing without an opponent. Um, I just continue to. <clears throat> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Oh, I did it. It's a fly? No. <laughs> um, training out without an opponent is um, no big deal. I, I usually go through most of my fights without knowing up until like maybe the last two weeks. Um, you know, so I'm just um, focusing on how to perfect my craft and how to just keep improving. Mm -hmm. That's part of your skill set. You're very orthodox. And I, I would assume that your opponent will also have trouble preparing for you because of the way you fight, um, your skill level. Um, so, with, with that being said, do you feel that no matter who your opponent is, it doesn't matter, you just prepare to the best of your abilities and whatever you bring to the table is good enough uh, for that night? Yeah, exactly. I feel like my opponents have to uh, adjust to me more than I have to adjust to them. Yeah. Um, but if I ever do have to adjust during a fight, I can easily do that. Um, so I just, just prepare to make myself even better so that way I'm 100% ready for any opponent or any style that I have to face. Yeah, giving you a victorious June 13, is it? June, yeah. June 13. Um, what are the goals for this year for you? Our goals for this year is after defending my silver WBC silver belt um, to fight for world title next and then also by again uh, before the year ends fight for another belt. I want to, you know, fight all the world champions in my weight division. Mm -hmm. Do you feel you're starting to get the recognition and the respect you deserve? <clears throat> Um, yeah, definitely. I feel like uh, because being signed with Golden Bear Promotions has definitely put me on the platform that I need to be at and has given me uh, the publicity and I just want to keep continuing to, to win and show who I am and win impressively um, to continue to just gain the fan base from not just LA but from around the world. And I see um, you're doing a lot of things outside of boxing. You're marketing yourself as a brand as well. Uh, you're very popular. Um, can you talk about your deals with like RVCA, upcoming documentaries and all that that you're working on outside of boxing? Yeah, um, my, so my deal with Ruka, um, I just uh, signed that and um, it's, it's a great company to be with and I'm happy to be with them and um, it's um, a, a huge um, platform for me as well, not just in the boxing world but like in other sports as well as far as like surfing, skating and MMA. Um, they're big in those sports also so to be able to bring it over um, into the boxing world is, is great. It's something that um, I really, you know, will put a lot of pride into doing. And um, I also have another huge project that we're working on. Can't really say much yet, mm -hmm. um, but it has to do with like my life story, which mm -hmm. would be um, into which would be turned into uh, a movie. So um, we're working on that, and I can't really give any details yet, but it's going to yeah. be uh, a huge uh, opportunity. That's cool. How do you take to all these new opportunities you're getting, like uh, these open doors for you to make a living outside of boxing too and uh, get to expand your brand? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's great. I just feel blessed. I just um, just continue to be humble and just keep training hard and keep winning because the reason why I have all these opportunities is because of the fighter that I am. Because, you know, I'm, 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 a, I'm winning and I'm undefeated and, um, you know, people want to see me fight and so that's the reason why you know all these other opportunities come because if I wasn't you know focused on training and winning and I wasn't doing well uh, inside of the ring, then I wouldn't have any opportunities outside of the ring. Yeah, um, talk to us about I saw you did some kind of training with uh, Chris Cyborg, was it? Yeah, was yeah. It, yeah, can you talk to us about that experience and how that kind of helps you out or what do you learn from her so being a professional MMA fighter or whatnot? Yeah, it was awesome sparring with uh, Chris Cyborg and training with her um, was was great. It was a very uh, cool experience and uh, she trains uh, at Ruka Gym in Costa Mesa and uh, with her coach Jason Perillo who also trains uh, Kylie Corinne and uh, Luke Rockhold and uh, you know huge names in the MMA world so um, I just did a photo shoot with them yesterday and was there with all of them and um, just a, a cool vibe and like a cool team to be around and um, they're uh, yeah they're just great to work with. Yeah, did you get a chance to see Canelo's uh, fight and um, just analyzing his performance on May fourth? Uh, what do you what do you make of it? Um, I thought Canelo did very well. Um, he just seems to get better and, and sharper and, and stronger each fight. So yeah, I was really impressed. I can't wait to see him again. 
Every time I ask people, um, they tend to tell me that he's not like your prototypical Mexican fighter that he's right. bringing something new to the table. Do you feel that mm -hmm. way, such as yourself, uh, you're yeah. an orthodox fighter? Right. Yeah, I think uh, Canelo brings a lot more to the game than you know most typical Mexican fighters. He uh, has great upper body movement, great, uh, good, really good footwork, so um, great uh, timing and great, uh, very good, like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, defense? No, not defense, like, um, persistent, not persistence. Uh, accuracy. Accuracy, there accuracy, you go. Yeah. yeah, I'll say it all over again. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Canelo brings um, a lot of different things uh, to the boxing world than most typical Mexican fighters do. He has great upper body movement, really good footwork and defense, and um, great accuracy and timing. So I, it's exciting watching him fight. As a fan, who would you like to see him fight next? What is the top opponents in your mind for him? Um, I don't know. I would, I would like to see him fight, face anybody. Just is every fight. Competition slim just, for him out there. Is it slim? Like, is there? I mean, is there not much competition for him out there? Or I think there's there's competition out there for him, but he just he just seems to be improving every fight. That yeah. you know, um, I don't think there's anybody who can stand in his way right now. Yeah. Okay, last thing, can you give me your thoughts on the um, Manny Pacquiao versus Keith Thurman fight um, July 20th? Ooh. I think um, I, I would have to take uh, Keith Thurman on that just because, I don't know, he's the younger, the younger guy yeah. and I would just take youth with that, yeah. I don't know how many more fights can, I mean, uh, Pacquiao can go with looking, you know, very quick and, and fast and sharp like he usually does, so... Okay, last thing, um, any words for uh, your loyal fans? You have a very large fan base, and uh, what can they expect June 13th? Um, you can expect a very uh, exciting fight, and I'm, I'm, I'm coming for the knockout. You know, I'm not coming to do 10 rounds, and um, okay. I'm just looking forward to... Uh, over time. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just looking forward to um, fighting here because my last two fights have been uh, in Mexico, so um, I'm just excited to, to be fighting here, and I hope everybody can come out and support in Hollywood at the Avalon, June 13th. Thank you, everybody. Cool. Thank you.